Hello, I'm Eric Orvidal, and I would like to thank you for purchasing Carecrete. This is a quick tutorial on how to get Carecrete completely set up, and we will also deal with any of the common bugs that happen on first install. Um, it's first important to note that there are a couple things to install first before Carecrete will be installed correctly. Um, first one being MCS, the Morph Character System. The uh, first link is the official GitHub, and the second link is eDarkness's page, uh, where he has already converted the MR files from the official release. It's still the official re official release, it's just been converted so that it works correctly in versions 2019 and versions 2020. For the sake of, of ease and is, we're going to use eDarkness's page here, uh, which is already ready for 2020. Uh, I've already downloaded these, but here's the links. You get to this page by clicking this link right here. And uh, I do notice that he has the MCS Summer MR files. Um, that's great if you have uh, purchased the MCS Summer package. However, that's not the one that comes for free with the males. Uh, this Chow Bella is for the females. So you should download Chow Bella, the female, the male, the DLLs. Uh, source code if you're into that kind of thing um, the summer MR files uh, unless you actually own that unity package or uh, that that <clears throat> MCS package that's not going to do you any good however um, you download these right here minus the summer files and then just kind of a quick note if you go over here to the originals there is the Urban Metro outfit, and that one is available, cause since this is the uh, official GitHub, this one's available for free with the package. Um, we're going to snag that as well. And then actually, we're just going to do that real quick, just in case I don't already have the guy. And then uh, we're going to go over here to... E-Darkness's neat little MR repository. We're going to find Urban Metro the outfit. Just going to go ahead and download that package as well. And that'll make it work in 2020 here. Uh, so we have these packages now. Let's go ahead and install those. Um, then we will also then install the <clears throat> the preview creator, the runtime preview generator, and that will give us our hair previews and our hair material previews. Okay, so we've got the hairstyle, the outfit for the men. Unfortunately, just an outfit for the women. We've got the men, the women, and the DLLs installed. And just for compatibility's sake, for that male hairstyle and outfit, we're going to 
replace the MR files from the 2019 patch site saving ourselves the time to do any conversion um, I will link that and anybody who owns the entire bundle the entire bundle is up there no conversion needed for versions uh, 2019 and 2020 um, once again MCS tools makes the conversion extremely simple. It's like the click of a button uh, for anything uh, 2021 or 2022. Uh, we've got those installed now, so our next thing to install here is the Unity Runtime Preview Generator. And then, uh, <clears throat> not to put off the actual install of Carcrete too much longer, but here's a few of those life-saving tips I was telling you about. Uh, so, if you go to your content folder, and you select all your content folders, I think actually additionally, let's just try just the content folder. You might have to leave some out, uh, <clears throat> depending on... If you've already done this, we're going to search for prefabs. In this little drop down, we're just going to filter prefabs, search up all the prefabs, and we're going to make sure that it's in the content. You know, at this point, you shouldn't have too many assets. This is pretty much going to be all your prefabs, but if you go to just content, if it's a bigger project or an existing project, just the prefabs from your content, select them all find this guy LOD group he's gonna be the main culprit for a lot of your frustrations uh, delete him and now we won't get any weird disappearing glitches uh, you know uh, one of the one of the things that really sucks is you'll go into a scene and your character won't have feet or hair or you know arms for that matter it's those LOD groups it's something that unity is trying to be helpful and add for you since there are LODs in the actual model files it thinks that it needs to add that however uh, MCS has code that already takes care of that um, so now I'm installing Carcrete And then if you go to your scenes, you'll see that we've got a first menu scene. We need to head over here. And the first step here is to go to our build settings. And we want first menu to be zero. Then the other two don't really matter, but I just go Carecrete and then Level. Because it makes sense. Yeah. Okay, now that that's done, I believe our next step is the textures. And this is for the hair. Um, the textures need to be changed to read and write for the hair. So you come down here, this is actually another MCS thing, go into your content, find any hair that you have, go into your materials, and each one of these, each one of these uh, hair colors is going to have its own albedo that will need to be changed. So we'll just uh, sort by textures in the Brit hair folder. Go with just the ones named Albedo. We're going to check read write enabled. Apply that to those guys. 
and now we'll be able to get hair previews um, and now remember let's check on those uh, let's let's check those prefabs I was talking about go ahead and close our MCS folder here again looks like we're got no warnings so far oh look at that all of the scripts are correct now uh, <clears throat> if these weren't correct just show you how to make one real quick here so if these weren't correct we would have to make a new MCS prefab not the hair uh, let's see so to make a new mail for example head in here to the mail see how it doesn't have a prefab to it's why I had to try to make some uh, you would drag this guy onto the scene here notice he's got the the scripts for just MCS you come up here and on here you would need to have a skin sync um, this Karakrete grab rotation you'd add a collider for the grab rotation script obviously you would make that fit him <laughs> uh, and then if you want your character dressed we've got this outfit auto loader and throw on here put the the clothing under there and and that would be how you make a new prefab well obviously then you'd have to drag him into your prefabs here just like that however This worked right out of the box miraculously, so we don't actually need to do that. I'm going to get rid of those guys. We're going to worry about the prefabs we have. Uh, here is the hairs section of the skin sink where you're going to set up any available hair that you have. Um, I can load some of my hair packages to show the example of adding more hair for the guys who have the uh, the bundle or just some of the content uh, here are your eye color textures looks like that populated correctly as well uh, is female zero on the males is female is one on the females current hair should be negative one that'll leave him bald and everything looks correct Except we've got missing clothing here, which is, yeah, I, I think that's always a thing. I have tried to get that working, and I think I would have to make more prefabs of the, the clothes, which we don't really need to do. So I'm just going to grab some pants. It's already prefab for that. Throw some pants on them. Give them some shoes. So left shoe, yeah, I got a right shoe, and let's give him a shirt. It's pretty much the way I have them dressed in all of the uh, <clears throat> example uh, photographs. Here we go. That should work. Caps collider is done. That doesn't need to be a trigger. Graph rotation. Rotation speed is good at one. Everything looks good. Uh, female, same thing. Probably need to add the clothing. Yep. So, so far, the only thing that is actually broken on our scene. Uh, oh, and it would be nice, actually, now that we've got the right clothing in there for him. We can apply that to our prefab just so that it works on the other scenes automatically for us. And then, yeah, let's get the the female dressed here as well. Give her some pants. Give her a top. Of 
course, please don't get mad about the uh, the the main scene nudity here. <laughs> kind of funny to see them smushed together at the same time as well. Uh, these guys will disappear and be dressed when they reappear, as long as you have this outfit auto loader on there. Okay, so now we've checked our. Oh, yeah, let's apply that. Pretty sure that'll make that work on our concrete scene versions. Uh, so that's our first menu. We're going to save that. That should be pretty much the only thing we need to check. Uh, if we want to here, we could come down here. First menu controller. Yep, they're added in there. Just make sure that. Uh, this canvas has a first menu controller script that needs the player gender fills in with the male and the female MCS characters that are in your scene. Not the prefabs that we created. These are the scene versions right here from the hierarchy straight over into there. You can see both of them highlight over here. And they do need to be in the order of zero male, one female. Uh, got that good. And then we are on to the next scene. Let's go check out our actual main Karakrete scene here. You want to take a look at the whole menu. You can go 2D. Check it out from there. Or, you know, just stay in. 3D orientation and look at the uh, the little scene here. Anyways, looks like he did automatically update with the clothing. And if that is the case, then we should really honestly shouldn't need to mess with him. We can leave those guys alone. Uh, let's see. That should be the rest of those things to check. Uh, I think then we're on to morphs. If uh, if you want to actually check out the the morphs that I have here in the example, let's come over here to the to the HUD, which is where our custom menu controller is, and uh, you can see same thing here this needs to have a player genders uh, zero for male one for the female so anyways uh, we've got uh, the genders confirmed are correct uh, now we've got our morphs uh, according to male morphs according to the female and then the common morphs are the morphs that uh, both characters have. Now this is just what's left over from the menus that I created. Um, which if you look in the categories here, we've got 10 categories. Over here, category buttons, yes. So this is how I did it easily to keep track of. I just created a, a button for each category. And in my hierarchy, I named it with the number that corresponds to the category that I set up in my categories here. For, you know, for obvious example, body being zero, we'll open the zero category here. And here are all the morphs that I thought pertained to the body. Uh, you know, same thing, each one of these... Uh, <clears throat> correlates uh, zero body one arms etc all the way down the list with uh, the buttons here numbered then I know which category is which and uh, just to give you a quick rundown on how to use these let's go ahead and close the categories uh, for a cleaner thing here I'm actually going to clear these lists uh, to start over from the beginning for everybody to go ahead and watch um, 
that doesn't actually clear the categories. You don't have to worry. So these are all still there. In fact, you could redo the lists as many times as you want and add them to these. Uh, the morphs will just keep stacking into different categories the more you add them to. And to get started, you will go compare male to female morphs. That populates our list. You see we got 146 male, 130 female, and 279 common morphs. I did notice that in the male versus the female, a lot of what you'll get is these facial control morphs. Um, and then, yes, more gender-oriented morphs like uh, uh, pectorials versus breasts. Um, but this is also where a lot of the racial, uh, uh, like orc, uh, goblin, zombie, vampire, bats, uh, cats, uh, deer, panthers, mice. Yeah, look at that. All, all, all this kind of stuff is usually in the the male versus female lists. Uh, with a, the bulk of your regular uh, body shape. Um, face and uh, you know, head type morphs are, are more going to be uh, common between the two. So the, the common morphs is you know almost 300 morphs you know, plus the other two, both less than 200. So uh, bulk of your work happening right here. Very easy to do though. Um, you see a list of numbers to the left side of each one here that, that corresponds with the categories that we set up. So right here, obviously, 10-year-old, um, 5-year-old, adult, aged posture, these aged body and head, uh, those are pretty much going to be uh, age. So that's what? That's, that's category 5. So we're just going to come down here and add all these guys to category 5. I'm not going to actually do it because I think it'll mess up my my list. But you know what? We could we could check it out. Our age category. There we go. Which was five. Let's add list morphs to category. That will add in the ones that we've selected down there. Uh, the ones that we've set to five will be added to the category five. Anything left as a negative one will be left out. Uh, you don't have to do one category at a time. We could have gone down and done the whole list. For the sake of brevity, just do that. And yes, then it, go, it went ahead and added them all over again. Like I said, it will stack them up. That does allow you to add the, the same ones over again if you need to do that. I, actually, in the list... When you when you enter runtime, eh, I don't think it'll dub it all up because it'll check to see if that morph is in there. It'll see it's there, and it'll say, "Oh, you don't need that morph." <clears throat> you know, like I said, then you just keep going down the list, the ones that you want, add to a category. The ones you don't, just leave them as negative one. Now, what do you do? Because that's a long list. Uh, I want to get rid of the ones that I've already added into some of these categories. Just kind of see where I'm at. Being able to, to kind of see what you've added and, and what you haven't. Uh, you can remove menu morphs from compare lists. So anything that is actually on the menu now, so anything's in a category, will be removed from what, these three lists down here. We'll hit that. And instead of the what eight or so that I just added to the age, it actually checked the whole darn menu, removed all the ones that we didn't have in there already or that we did have in there already and left us the ones that we don't so if we were trying to add more of these morphs we could go through our list here and see what we've got left and uh, and go ahead and add them uh, it it, <clears throat> it makes doing a new menu like this much faster so anybody who's actually interested in the UI design end of this uh, this is going to make you blaze right through that because now that you've got it added to the category we don't need to go in and do anything 
uh, we don't we don't need to go in and create any lists. We don't need to go into the to the UI here and and do anything else. It's in the category. It's now a part of your menu. Uh, just to kind of prove it, you know, you hit play here. We're gonna select mail. You know, we hit body. Here's all the morphs we have in the body category: arms, legs, chest, fitness, all of this. You know, age. Go ahead and give you a little example of uh, what I was talking about up the hair menu. Uh, however, here's the dynamic preview. This picture does not exist anywhere. This preview of this hair was dynamically created when we entered the hair menu. So we pick the hair. Again, these material previews don't exist anywhere. These were created dynamically when you picked the hair. So we've got black, we've got blonde, we've got brown, red. This is called red. And the white. All of the materials available that we added in when we were adding the hair. Available right there. Use that button to go back to bald. And actually test to see if our LOD thing worked here. We're going to add some hair. We're going to go back to our body. And I do see that we can still see the hair. Had we not took away those LODs, that hair would have just vanished. Been invisible. Um, I see we've got shoes and feet and everything looks good. We saved ourselves that headache. So on each one of these genders... There is a hair list. You see, empty on the female. Got the uh, the Brit hair for the guys. Go ahead, import that. All right, now we've got a hair pack for the women and the MR files. So that it will work, let's head over to the female. Click into the hairs list. And we're going to open our content. Okay. Prefabs, pick our prefabs, and remove the LOD groups. Okay. Female hairs to add. Yeah, my bad. Four. So, element one hair object is the chase hair. And the hair materials. We're going to go black. We're going to add all of them. But there's the black, there's the blonde. And you just do this for each one of the materials. Probably uh, wind up speeding this up, so I'm sure a lot of my rambling at this point is inane for no reason. How many of you were sitting there thinking to themselves, hmm, he added new hair and then he didn't change the textures to read right. 
because if you were thinking that, good job, you are correct. Not the outfit. And we'll just go in here, find our textures. Make sure we're in the hair ones. Pick all the albedos. Read right, apply that. Make sure that's all of them. And now when we hit play, we should have a nice looking hair menu. So there we go. You can see in this case where this might be one where you don't want to use the hair overlay since there is baldness. Um, however, here before we speed off to the next thing, if we come up here and we go to the the shader for the head. And we go to our overlay and we lower our alpha on the overlay to I think I think 80 is a good one I'm not sure we're gonna have to take a peek here 80 looks okay what's uh what's a little higher look like yeah I think 120 might actually be nice We'll do 120. Now, so we just did that the hard way. We actually edited that in the shader. And um, it's actually just something you can edit right here. When you use chase hair, you set your overlay to 120. Now, that won't keep because I did it in play mode. But yeah. Get a much nicer effect there kind of helps the shaved look it really helps on the females the guys have a texture where the hair is already shaved looking um, this is just better on the the females and you can see our material previews are working and it's setting that hair overlay to the right color and the right alpha Yes, I did write code for the hair overlay to detect the color of the hair material and set itself to the appropriate color. Very obvious here with the uh, shaved head material. Kind of nice. That's the one we chose. Perfect. Uh, anyways, you can go through here and see that the materials runtime generated. Very nice looking. Uh, one of the things uh, you can also look for in a future update is I will be redoing this hair shader. I um, already redid the skin shader. You can add whatever skin tone you want. Uh, up to the minimum and maximum that was provided by MCS in their, in their character files. Um, you can see and touch how to add new hairs uh, we've got it set up we took care of any common bugs problems should you had to set up a new prefab should your prefab be messed up oh gosh I boy reaching but I think we nailed it we've got a, a working MCS here and uh, and so now I'd just like to go ahead and just do a little demonstration runtime so we'll go to first menu here hit play and we'll see our morph character system menu creation tools at work so we're gonna leave this new character uh, if this is new character then when you hit start it will take you into the character editor Otherwise, your character choices pop up here, and then you can see a preview of the character here. 
So, new character, go in here. We will choose female because she has more hair. Uh, let's uh, let's go a little tall, not too tall. Um, we'll go thin. Just to test it out a little bit here, we'll go to our fitness here, give her some bodybuilder muscles. Making a volleyball player here. So then, yeah, you can do the rest of these. Some of these age ones don't uh, work properly. I would, I would test them all out before including them in your game. A lot of these look really funny. So let's give her a cool hairdo here. Eh, I guess that one's not as cool as I thought. Uh, until we fix that overlay while we're not in runtime. We'll go with a simple brown ponytail. Let's go blue eyes instead of that default green. But as you can see, we have all the eye colors here, including a chocolate brown versus an amber brown. You got green blue. Uh, we can add more. That is actually settable. You can add whatever eyes you want. Uh, use the existing textures as a template. And uh, make sure to leave the transparencies that exist uh, transparent. Uh, we'll give her a tan because these characters look way too, way too pale. So there we've got blue eyes, tan, got some hair. We adjusted her height. Yeah, you can really get uh, pretty in-depth with a lot of this stuff. And test girl. We'll save that. Should bring us back out to our main menu. And once again, we Overlooked a slight thing here. We added all this hair into our female prefab or our female character. We didn't update our prefab. Let's go ahead and apply all that to our prefab. I'm going to check this guy here. Yeah, we can just go ahead and apply all that stuff. Save our scene. Give that another shot. And there we go. Yeah, much better. Works better when you have the hair. And there we go. We've got one working character. See the nose. Still modified. We got the muscles. We got the tan. We got the hair everything loaded in properly nice to know good stuff uh, obviously you're going to use your own character controller animations etc your own level but uh, this is just a good example show that we went all the way through the character creation process the menu preview worked everything's in good working order I believe uh, we've successfully navigated our way through installing and using care creek congratulations and once again thank you for purchasing care creek if you like it please leave me a good review if there's any bugs features questions anything go ahead and please let me know thank you for your time